Hello everyone, welcome you all to Eternal IAS and in today's lecture of day 30, we are going to solve the another set of five questions which are going to be very important from the prelims point of view. Whatever you are solving here, just make sure that you are knowing these facts and learning these. If you already know the answers of these questions, that is very good. So You can comment down the marks as well. And if you don't know, then do revise these to understand these. So let us start with the very first question. First question is all about the Indian pangolins because they were in news. MP Wildlife Pangolin Conservation Project succeeds in state because recently a study has been going on in the Panch Tiger Reserve and Satpura Tiger Reserve of Madhya Pradesh and the pangolin conservation project has been going on. So we have to understand statements about the Indian pangolin and let's see what exactly is the status of Indian pangolins. So Indian pangolins which are also known as thick-tailed pangolins. They are native to the Indian Indian period like Indian area. So pangolins are the scaly mammals. They have a large protective keratin skin covering their skin. And they are insectivorous. They are nocturnal, right? Their diets consist of ants and termites. And they are going to capture these nocturnal with the help of their tongues. Out of the eight species of pangolins, Indian pangolin and Chinese pangolin is found in India. Indian pangolin, you are going to find this in, uh, in the high Himalayas region. And uh, Chinese pangolin is found in the region of northern India, northeast Bangladesh, Nepal and south. Okay. So it is endemic to Deccan Peninsula only. Wrong. It is insectivorous and nocturnal. Correct. Totally correct. And if I talk about the IUCN status, it is endangered species. So only two statements are correct. Right. So write down these facts in your notes about the Indian pangolin, where they are found and which species are found in India, right? And they are having a scale. They are having a protective keratin. And they are using their scales as an armor to defend itself against the predators by rolling into a ball whenever they are threatened. You can see their picture as well. You will get to know about the Indian pangolin structures. So these are the important facts about pangolins. If you know, well and good. If you don't know, just write down in your notes so that it is going to be like good for you. Okay, everyone. Moving on to the second question. That is about the cheetahs. Why? Because upgrade horn of Africa cheetah status to endangered experts appeal to IUCN. The horn of Africa cheetah status should be upgraded to endangered. They have said this. So that's why cheetahs are in news. So let us understand about the cheetahs, what exactly they are. And also we have completed the project cheetah also. So that's why we should know about the cheetah. In India, cheetah has been, you can say, production uh, cheetah reintroduction program has already been in India doing, we have done that. So firstly, read the three statements. Cheetahs, the first statement, Cheetah, who is the fastest. You can say he is the fastest land animal. So, Cheetah. First statement you can see here. Cheetahs, the fastest land animals. They are considered as hunters because they are going to hunt at the sunrise and the sunset. So, they are known as crepuscular hunters okay write down these notes so first statement here is cheetahs group name the cheetahs group are known as coalitions right 
what they are known as coalition right so cheetah is the fastest land animal they have a creamy white or pale buff fur over their body and the iucn status presently is the vulnerable they are deciding to change into endangered whereas it is vulnerable okay cheetah lives in the three main social groups right first one is the female and cubs their children first is correct second is male which is known as coalitions not pride and then solitary males females of che female cheetah led a nomadic life searching for the prey in large home ranges where males are more sedentary they are the lazy and they live in a smaller territories with a plentiful prey and the access to females right and the cheetah is active during the day with peaks during dawn and dusk they can feed upon the small to medium sized prey mostly weighing under 40 kg right so these are the important facts about the cheetah you should know okay so first statement is wrong second and third are totally right okay these facts were like important from the examination point of view so write down these things it is known as coalition moving on to the next okay move before moving on let me tell you this pride pride is the group of lions group of lions is known as pride whereas the group of cheetah is known as coalitions okay i hope you all are clear with these facts moving on to the next question next question is all about the programs which of the following program have been introduced in overarching scheme prithvi so the question is about the prithvi scheme so let us see about the prithvi program and let us see some of the vigyan scheme prithvi so see prithvi program is prithvi it has been launched by the ministry of earth science and this program is going to encompass five ongoing schemes first scheme is the across scheme they are going to encompass second is the pacer scheme third o smart scheme fourth sage scheme s a g e and last is reach out they are not going to encompass the yuvika scheme right five they are going to cover first one is about the reach out what is reach out research education training and outreach second is o smart that is ocean smart ocean services modeling application resource technology across is atmosphere and climate research pacer is polar science and cryosphere research so these are going to they are going to encompass the five components atmosphere hydrosphere geosphere cryosphere and biosphere this is about the prithvi scheme because prithvi scheme is going to give the advanced warning services for the natural disasters like cyclone flood heat waves earthquake disaster management right and this is going to extend all over the way to the earth arctic antarctic himalayas everywhere very important getting my point everyone moving on to the fourth question fourth question is about the antimicrobial resistance so what is exactly antimicrobial resistance let us understand that and why it was in news because 55% of the patients were prescribed antibiotics for preventive indications 45% for therapeutic indication right so antimicrobial resistance is the you can say it is the resistance acquired by any microorganism against micro drugs right so first and second statement it is totally written right you can see here who has identified amr antimicrobial resistance as one of the top threats to public health okay so all the statements written second both of the statements are correct moving on to the last question wetland city accreditation scheme recently 
इंदौर भोपाल एंड उदयपुर बोथ ऑफ देम हैज सबमिटेड देयर ऑल ऑल थ्री ऑफ देम हैव सबमिटेड देयर एप्लीकेशन फॉर द डब्ल्यू सी ए दीज विल बी दर्स्ट थ्री सिटीज ऑफ इंडिया टू हैविंग दीज एक्रीडिएशन राइट सो लेट एस सी विच हैज बिन नॉमिनेटेड फॉर अमंग दीज वेटलैंड सिटी एक्रीडिएशन राइट इट इज अ वॉलेंट्री एक्रीडिएशन सिस्टम एस्टेब्लिश बाय रामस साइट्स to recognize city that they have taken exceptional steps to safeguard their wetlands right which is valid for the 6 years so recently three cities has been nominated indore bhopal and udaipur so 1 2 and 3 so these three are wrong bengaluru karnataka and kanchipuram udaipur indore and bhopal are the correct answer see you all know udaipur udaipur is surrounded by five major areas pichola fateh sagar rang sagar swarup sagar and dud telai right so they they have already done doing these things okay and uh, this area of udaipur you know indore see indore is surrounded by sirpur lake right so this place has been developed as a bird sanctuary and they have done efforts for the water bird conservation and if i talk about bhopal then bhoj wetlands which is a ramsar site and it is a bhopal's lifeline they ha they have like the uh, the government of mp they have equipped this bhoj wetland with the world class wetlands interpretation center jal tarak so that's how these three have these three cities have done an exceptional work in conserving the wetlands that's why these three cities were in news whereas rest three are not the correct answers you all know about the wetlands on 2nd february 1971 there has been a convention took place in ramsar place of iran and that's how this whole ramsar sites came into being or came into effect right write down all these facts in your notes and these are the first three indian cities of india they have who have submitted their this thing okay this concept has already been running in in the world from the from the 2015 but this thing has recently been started so write down these factual information and these information is going to play a very important role for the examination and write whatever you are writing write in a pattern way and try to do all the questions and try to solve everything whatever i am telling you right everyone so complete this i will meet you all in the next lecture with another set of five questions till then practice these questions जय हिंद